Hola, buen día. I want to greet everyone at the Fearless City Summit. I wish so much that I could be with you in Barcelona in person, but this will have to do for now. I want to especially extend my greetings to two of my personal heroes, Mayor Ada Colau and Mayor Manuela Carmena. I have such pleasure in just saying those words. Your rise represents historic victories for social movements, one that is inspiring people around the world to think maybe they could do the same, maybe we could do the same, maybe we could build coalitions that bridge social movements uh, to city government. Uh, and I want to greet all of the mayors, all of the activists, the global movements that are gathered at this wonderful summit. You don't need me to tell you that at the national level, in so many of our countries, we are losing ground or going in the wrong direction. We all know about Donald Trump, but it isn't just Trump. I'm speaking to you uh, from Canada, and uh, we have a prime minister who gets a lot of good publicity, but in fact, uh, so much of it is just about image, selfie, social media. Meanwhile, we have so many disastrous policies continuing, uh, building polluting uh, oil pipelines. Uh, we have uh, almost nothing being done to fight economic inequality. And, and the fear is that if we don't build a real alternative, then the, then the sort of politics that Trump represents, that Marie Le Pen represents, that all of these xenophobic and fascist forces around the world represents, are going to keep spreading. Uh, we need a real progressive alternative that meets people's actual needs, their right to dignified housing, their right to safety, their right to a clean environment. It can't just be rhetoric. The hope that I take right now is coming from the local level. It's coming from experiments like the one we're seeing in Barcelona, in Madrid, where you are showing that transformation and deep democracy is possible, that feminist leadership is possible, that internationalism is possible, that welcoming immigrants with open arms and, and open hearts is possible that finding dignified housing for the homeless is possible, and that a green transition is possible. And indeed, we're, we have been sold this message that acting in the face of the crisis of climate change will lead to a reduction in our quality of life. But what you're showing with your visionary leadership is that the opposite is true, That when is that when we take this crisis seriously and when we have justice-based solutions, the quality of life in our cities improves dramatically. The stakes are so high in this moment that we have to win where we can. This isn't going to be enough, but what I believe is that when we build alternatives in cities like Barcelona, that people begin to, to believe once again that change is possible because they're living it, because they're feeling it, and that that experience can trickle up and that it will eventually trickle up to the national level and that it will indeed trickle up to the international level with an international vision uh, uh, for Europe that rivals the neoliberal vision that has strangled the European Union and that is feeding the backlash. Um, we need this progressive path forward. I've just uh, completed a book that is called No is Not Enough. And I chose that title uh, because for so long we have just been saying no. No to austerity, uh, no to climate change. Um, but we need our yes. And we need not just to talk about it. We need to build it in the real world. And that is the work that this summit represents. You represent the best of the yes. And I thank you for that. And I salute you.